Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove your email from unwanted websites. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we remove our email from those unwanted websites or pesky websites? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to access our Google account. So in this case, go ahead and open up your browser. So in this case, go to gmail.com, log in into your account. And what we need to do is we need to access our profile photo, which is at the top right of your screen. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on manage your Google account. And from here, we, know we need to go to security and scroll a bit down in here. Now in this case, look for the section that says your connections to third party apps and services. Once you see it, just click on see all connections. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to search for the app or website that you want to actually disconnect your email from. In this case, what you need to do is you could go ahead and click them in here or just search them by name in the top right here. Now in this case, maybe I want to remove my account from this specific app here or website. Let's go and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on delete all connections that you have with Ad Creative AI. And from here, it's going to actually give you some information here. In this case, it will actually uh, have your uh, account disconnected from the following websites. But if you want to delete the actual data that was shared on the actual website, then in this case, you need to log into that website first and delete the actual data from there. So in this case, you could go ahead and just delete your account via the actual website. But once you've done that, you could go ahead and go back in this page here and just click on confirm. So in this case, once you hit and confirm here, that would actually delete your connection from that website. And that would actually also remove the connection between those uh, websites. In this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.